Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at timers within Appsidator Titanium. Now, Appsidator Titanium can use the JavaScript native set interval method, which is a method uh, where you can write a code and then you can also uh, write how many seconds or in milliseconds you run in between that code. So you want this bunch of code to uh, execute a number of times and you can also set uh, a time in between to leave that so you can create like a flashing image or a flashing icon and you can state how many seconds you want in between each of the flashes so we are going to be doing that uh, let's quickly create the window so tie dot ui uh, yep dot create window and the background color is going to be white okay uh, let's create create a label uh, tie dot ui dot create label and inside that let's just set the text to uh, touch the switch switch yep uh, the width is going to be width is going to be about 150 pixels the height is going to be about 50 pixels and it's going to be about 80 pixels on the top and I want the text to be at the center so text align is center with that surrounding it there we go okay and what we're going to do is create a switch so bar I'm just calling it interval switch because it's going to use uh, it's we're going we're talking about intervals so tie.ui.create switch and basically what I want to do is come on uh, create a switch so that if I turn the switch on I want my label to flash with I don't know like a text saying bang or flash or spark or something every I don't know one second or every half a second so we are going to be using switch to turn that uh, function on I want I'm going to set the switch to the bottom because so, I don't want it to be uh, close to the label I just want it to be at the bottom I want the default value to be false so that it's not like the text isn't flashing when I initially uh, run my app so by default the switch is going to be turned off now what we're going to do now is going to create an event listener for our switch so interval switch which is my variable name dot add event listener and we are going to be listening to the change of the switch so on or off and for our callback not func function function we are going to be creating an if statement to look at uh, whether the label, not label, whether the switch is turned on or off and we want to execute a code depending on whether it's on or off. So if e.value is true, true, I could just, uh, if, if you want it to be equal true, you can just say e.value by default, that means if e.value is true. So I'm going to do that and if e.value is true, I want the my text to flash <coughs> and else so if it isn't uh, if my switch is off so not on I want uh, switch is off like so okay so I'm going to quickly write my semicolon because I keep on forgetting that all the time and I get errors so I'm going to do that first and then now I'm going to write a code when the switch is on so I want my label to text to flash okay I'm going to say var x equals zero first I'll come back to what x is and I'm going to create a bit of space so that my code I'm currently writing is at the middle top side of the screen because I hate writing at the bottom okay I'm going to say this dot timer equals set interval so this is a set interval method in JavaScript and it's going to be a uh, function and then inside here what we're going to do is write two things we are going to write code here okay and then outside my function inside my set interval I'm going to write uh, time here time so I'm going to write a code within my function and outside my function code inside my set interval I want my time so basically the set interval uh, looks like this if I could write it here so set interval is going to be inside the brackets and inside here you have code first and then you have uh, what do you have I think you have a comma yeah you have a comma 
and then you have the time it takes so I need to actually write a comma here before I forget so hopefully that was a good explanation but I'm going to assume that half of you if not uh, more knows set interval because you need to know JavaScript in order to in order to be able to uh, play around with accelerator titanium okay so this dot timer equals set interval and inside my function I'm going to create an if statement saying if uh, x which initially is set to a zero modulo two modulus two equals zero so if that basically is a clever way or a simple way of saying if x is an even number we want this code however else if it's not an even number we want this code so when it's an even number I want label.txt to say nothing and if it's an odd number I want my label to text to say flash okay simple as that and at the end uh, uh, after my if statement because the set interval is going to keep repeat itself I am going to increment increment my x with 1 so x plus plus and for my time here, I am going to say 500 milliseconds, so uh, every half a second. Now, what this does is basically uh, when my switch is on, uh, I'm going to create a timer with a set interval method. And I want this code or this function to execute every 0.5 seconds. And what that that does is basically we have a variable x and we check if x modulus 2 is 0 so we check if x is 0 or if x is an even number or an odd number every time and every half a second uh, x is going to go up by 1 so obviously every half a second x is going to be an even number and every half second every other other half a second x is going to be an odd number and uh, when my x is an even number it's going to display nothing as a text and when it's an odd number it's going to display flash as a text so basically uh, in your eyes in the human eye you'll see this flashing text flash 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 because every half a second that word is going to disappear and then appear again so that is when the switch is turned on we have my we have our set interval method like so okay so that's that and else when the switch is turned off we need to say clear interval this dot timer we need to clear the interval for our timer this clear interval is really important in order to avoid um, memory leakage leakage in your app now memory leakage i'm not going to go uh, uh, in details about it for now because that's going to be another whole series of videos or maybe one two video if i can be bothered to do it because it's quite a complex com uh, computer science thing if you're interested just google memory leakage and the wikipedia is going to tell you but basically it's just going to use too much of your ram inside your phone or computer and it's just going to screw everything up because it uses too much ram when you don't need to so i'm going to set clear interval this dot timer and i am going to say this dot timer equals to null and i'm going to set my x back to zero because it's going to be counting uh, how we how we how blah, I can't speak uh, how many numbers it counted depending on your uh, interval length and I am going to set my label dot text to switch turned off and that's about it yep that's my code for my advent listener for my switch and lastly we are going to add a label to my window and we are going to add my interval switch to my window and I'm going to open my window like so okay so I'm going to run my iPhone simulator now okay so our app has loaded we've got our label which says touch the switch initially and we have a switch which uh, by default is turned off when I turn this on the uh, it, text is going to turn into this flashing uh, flashing uh, not icon but this flashing text where every half a second there's not going to be any text and every half a second or every other half second it's going to be this flash uh, text therefore it makes it look like the text is flashing 
in some way and when I turn this off it's going to say switch turned off because of my if statement in my uh, event listener for this switch so that was a, a quick tutorial on using uh, the timers for uh, especially the set interval method uh, in JavaScript which you can use in absolute to titanium for uh, intervals in your app this is quite useful not just to flash your uh, text but when you want to do something, when you want your code to execute repeatedly every, I don't know, one second, two second or three second when you're creating games and such. So yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, yeah, uh, favorite, whatever you, whatever you want to do, it helps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.